So there's a delicate balance going on here. We have this very moist, pliable top. And this is really getting hard down here, uh, which is good. It's supporting all this. But if I'm going to be adding slip, I got to make sure that this doesn't dry out too, too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a quick spritz down all around the outside. Not too, too much, but I want to keep adding a little bit of moisture, maybe every like every hour or so, maybe every 45 minutes, check it out. Give this bottom half a spray. You want it to be able to set up and support the weight, but you don't want it to dry too much. As this dries, it's going to shrink too. And if this dries too much, this is actually gonna go out of proportion slightly. So keep that in mind, okay? Once the bottom is set up, you can also wrap it in plastic and secure the plastic with a clothespin. So when I'm bringing this top over, this is another tricky, delicate balance here. This has to be set up enough to add coils onto. And because uh, if it's not set up enough, it's just going to flop in. So you got to just test it. Make sure that this can kind of hold up some weight before you add any more coils. And like I said before, I normally pinch. I just added a coil. Normally I pinch from this side, but at some point, as this curves a lot, you're going to have to come over this this direction and and pinch it's just so another thing that I can do a tool that I can employ is a paddle and it doesn't have to be anything special it can just be like something a wooden spoon uh, from your kitchen drawer that you don't care too much about but it's got to be made out of wood and if I have a point like I, I can see right here there's a bulge and this clay has got to be pretty set up for this to work but, you know, it's got to be able to give a little bit, but essentially I can just kind of smack this, tap it lightly, just tap it around and rotate. And I can get rid of any bulges. I can kind of recontour if I need a little bit of a lift, paddle from down below, and that'll project this upward. So a paddle is your friend when it comes to making coil pots. Makes a cool, fun sound too. paddle or a spoon is really going to help even out your pot. Make sure you got one hand on the opposite side so it doesn't go toppling over. And make sure you get down nice and low. 